Hello, welcome to um, part four of my platformer tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be changing the hitbox of our player uh, so it's not a square, and also adding in a scoring system and coins. So, first of all, we're just going to go to edit object on our player and we're going to change our hitbox because currently it's like this. So, that means that if we're on the edge of like a platform, um, we're not going to slide off, we're going to kind of hover in the air because um, we're not going to fall off because it's a square and if I just show you what I mean if I go on this platform here like this as you can see we're just standing there on thin air because our our collision box extends all the way out to there so what we can do is we can use a custom collision mask and then press on the plus button here to make one now we can zoom in and out um, with these buttons or by holding control and then the mouse wheel this is a nice new feature I like it quite a lot now we can just drag these out here drag out maybe to here right about there and then maybe about there and then drag up to maybe about there then about here so now only the core part of our player is in the hitbox. So we can close and then apply. And now if we play it, you'll see we have no more of that issue. Well, a little bit, but our player now just falls off when it gets to the edge of it, as you can see there. So if you wanted it more, um, like more accurate, then you will have to make a circle so that he slides off whenever you you go on the edge but that would require more more tweaking and it's up to you if if you want to do that really so now we're going to add in coins and scoring systems so let's make a sprite and let's call this coin just to start off with here so we're just going to add a sprite for this we're going to go to our art folder and then we're going to go to where is it items and then grab our coin gold or golden coin yes so now we have our golden coin we can put it anywhere we want so let's just put it put it on top of this just like that nice and easy so now when we play it you'll see it doesn't do anything it's just there so what we need to do is we need to make it so that when the player is in collision with the coin we make the coin disappear and we add one to our score. Sorry about this this thing with the S sounds. I've, I've got my retainer in. Um, so now we're going to just make some text. We can change this later on. We're just going to call this score. Let's just see if that's big enough. Doesn't seem like it, does it? Um, no, it's not big enough at all. Let's make this a hundred. Once again, sorry with my speech. It's, <laughs> it's because of my, my retainer. So, now, if we play it, you can see it's text there, but it doesn't go with our camera, which is not what we want. We want it to go to our camera. So, we can go over here to our layers, and we can add a new layer. I'm just going to call this one GUI, so this will have all of the GUI stuff, like health, if we're going to do health and score. Um, so, now we have our GUI layer. We can now go onto our text and change this to the GUI layer and now it's on our camera so the reason why this doesn't um, move with the camera is because the camera is on the base layer and since um, so anything that's not on the base layer will not move with the camera basically if it's on the base layer then it will move with the camera because that camera is on the base layer if you get what I mean. So this one not not being on the base layer. You can call this whatever you want, but um, as long as it's not on the base layer, then it won't move with the camera. So now we yes, yeah, so now we're gonna make it so that we get our coins. So I'm just gonna make a new group here. Let's call this uh let's just call this score I guess. Um yeah so make a new event and then do a collision condition. So collision between player and the coin 
Okay. So we're going to then delete that coin object from that scene. Okay. Um, and we're also going to have a global variable because um, we can have a object variable in the score. Um, it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you, but I'm going to have a global variable um, just because if you wanted to use this variable for like text at the end of a scene um, or in a new scene where you don't have the score um, object there, then you can. So let's just call this score because why not? And we'll set it to zero just to start off with. So we'll now do, uh, where is it, variables, global variables, value of a global variable score. And we're going to add one to it. So if we play this now, you'll see our coin does disappear, but this doesn't change, and we can't see our score anywhere. So we're going to have to update our text with the variable. So that's also quite easy. Let's just make a new um, event. Let's add a con mm, no. We're not going to add a condition. We're just going to go into the actions and we're going to go to our text object and modify the text. So we're going to modify the score text. We're going to set it equal to. And now here you can just type in your um, your line of code if you want, or you can go over to here and select what you want. So we're going to go to variables text of a global variable I'm going to select our global variable score and click apply and now this will get this will put this um, global variable of score onto our text object so now you'll see that it's equal to zero and then when we get the coin it goes up to one that's quite simple isn't it so now we have just that we want to make it look nicer so we can simply do that by just adding this and then a plus and what that does is it adds a string or like words um, and then the number so we can do stuff like score and then now we play it it says score that so that's quite simple so that's now our score so well done you just added score so now we can just drag these around and make more um, and you can do that by um, highlighting an object and then holding down control and then dragging from it to make a new coin. So there you go. But then you see, oh no, our coin is um, collected when we don't actually touch the coin. As you can see, it uh, disappears from earlier run. So if you don't mind about that, then that's fine. But if you do mind about that, then you can just go ahead and change the hitbox of it. You can change it to a different hitbox and a new one. And you can see that this hitbox is already really well done across um, around the coin. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So now I can press play. And now you'll see that only when we actually touch the coin do we get the, get the point. And you can see on these ladders, a nice nif nifty thing, that when we made the ladders was, was there. If you press the space bar while, whilst we're on it, then you go up really high and you go up the ladder really fast. Which is a nice nifty trick for if someone's going to speed run your game. Then that's that's quite nice for them, isn't it? Because then they can just use that trick to, you know, get across. And just go up the ladder nice and fast. So that is your score. Um, when we do menus and game over and stuff like that, um, I'll show you how you can... Uh, display that score at the end in a new scene and because it's a global variable we can do that so yeah hope you enjoyed uh, like and subscribe because um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in so long it's just school starting up again it's just uh, it's, it's just all a bunch of it's just crazy really so yeah hope you like the video um, I'll be doing part five hopefully don't know in a few weeks um, yeah Try and work out the rest of it for yourself, you know? Yeah. I'll see you later. Goodbye.